Hi again. So uh, if you're watching this video, you have already should have um, worked through the previous one on how to add a new record into a database. What we're going to do in this one now is add the ability to do a confirmation page where the user can actually confirm that the information they entered is correct before it is actually added to the database. Now, um, just to give you an idea of what today will look like then, um, right here, if you imagine um, right now we have this uh, add, add category page and what we've got over here is our enter page and at the moment we've got something going right across and it goes in there no matter what and it travels in our um, post array and I'm pretty sure it's called name you have to bear with me here I'm playing around with uh, with one note in my tablet for the first time. Um, so that's what we've got at the moment. And obviously we need somewhere in here, we need the ability to sort of stop and say, this is, are you sure this is right? Okay. So um, if I can work out just how to delete everything I've just done, that would not be it. There we go. All right. What we're gonna do is we are going to put in a new page in the middle here called confirm category. Um, the problem is, when we send information here, our form right now is posting information. Now the post array, it only lasts for one page transition, so from add to confirm, and after that it's emptied. So what we need to do, and we need to give them the ability to go back. So if they go back, so in other words they say, no, nope, there's a mistake there. Um, we need a way of bringing that information so it actually appears on this page here. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to use a session. Okay, so that's been sent that way. Which means on this page here, we need to say that our session is equal to whatever has been posted, oops, that's the P, posted through. Now then this will obviously take it through in our session and be entered into the database. And the thing that's been entered now over here is the session information. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to do. Obviously we need to add this page here and we're gonna to need to do a little bit of changing our code, um, changing posts to sessions. Um, and also we need to change something in our form in here so that when we return what, they, what the user entered is gonna be there already. Okay, so that's enough of me playing with this silly picture. Let's get on with it. So um, first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to go ahead and create that confirm category page. So let's just go save as confirm category. Confirm category dot php. Here we go. And I'm also going to just copy that password protecting stuff at the top. So we'll copy that paste that in so we've got all this and now we need our add category page to actually submit to the confirm page currently it's going through to enter category we're just going to go this is on the add category page this is the action of my form in other words where it goes it is going to go to confirm category now instead okay um, right save that so on the confirm category page what we need to have happen is we need to check and see has that post been set because obviously we don't want someone coming here. So on our enter category page, you notice we had this little bit checking to see if it had been submitted. I'm actually going to cut that out of here now. Oh, actually, no, don't cut it. We'll copy, we'll copy it because we'll nice and use some of that code later. Copy that. Go back to add, confirm category, and paste that in there. So if, and again, if they've tried to, if someone's tried to access this page without submitting that add category form, then they will be redirected. However, if they have, then we're going to um, set this, set, we're gonna set a new session, basically. So set, um, and we'll call the session add category session. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is I'm just gonna go dollar sign underscore session, because this is, and you can notice it's got the dollar sign at the start and the underscore because this is native, it's built into PHP. Um, I'm gonna call this one 
Oh, actually, I've been using the words add category all this time, haven't I? So I'll call it add category. Um, name. And that is going to be equal to whatever was posted through. There we go there. Okay. Um, and that's all we need up there. Okay, now um, I have a little bit of bit of HTML down the bottom just to, to say, are you sure this is what you want to enter? So um, I have a heading, confirm category name, and then on the next line, um, so yeah, you entered, and then what we'll do is we'll use PHP to display whatever they entered, because this is dynamic content, we need the PHP. Um, so I'm just going to echo what was in the post array and the bit of information coming through in the post array was name and then close the paragraph and now on the next line they have the option of saying yep that's right or no that's not so I'll say uh, I don't know, correct continue something like that would be one and then uh, oh the other one be oops go back Close paragraph. Now each of each of those things needs to be a link. So here's my first link. Now the correct link will go on to again index.php, but the page it's going to this time is going to be enter category. Um, no, there we go. And then wrap that link around the continue part. Okay. The oops go back. Is going to return. That's going to return to index.php, but the page is going to be add category. So we now have now the ability to go forwards and back. Right. So just check to see if that actually works. Where am I? Um, here. So if I go to add new category and I enter this ASD. It says you entered ASD. Now, if I continue, it's going to error out because we haven't dealt with that yet. But if I say, oops, go back, it goes back to the form. Now, the problem is, of course, I, it would be nice to be able to see what we entered. So what we're going to do is we need to set an initial value for this text field. So going back to the add category page, you can see here's my um, text field. And it has a name, but it doesn't have a value. So I'm just going to set the value. Um, some speech marks in there. Um, the value itself is going to be equal to that session. So there's dollar sign underscore session, and we called it add category and name. Okay. Now clearly that's PHP, so I need to actually echo that. I don't know what I was thinking there. Right. So, yep. Sorry. There you go. The initial value will be whatever that session was set to. Problem is, the first time you come to this page, that session will not have been set. So we need a little bit of code at the top here just to say, listen, if it if it hasn't been set, let's make it empty. So uh, we'll just say um, if this is the first time the user. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense, Harry. Um, Set the session to blank um, if user has just left this page from the admin panel. And basically, we're just going to say if the session's not set, then set it to nothing. Um, oh, I don't know why I gave it such a long name. This is a real pain to retype each time. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, okay, so if that one's not set, then we're going to make it equal to nothing. So I'm not going to retype all that, I'm just going to copy it. So I paste that in there, and I'm just going to make it equal to blank. And the reason I do that is that basically if there's nothing in that session, so if it doesn't exist, then we create it, but we make it equal to nothing, which means that the initial value in here will be nothing. Okay, so we'll just save that and let's go test it. So uh, 
refresh that page there you go so you can see because I've actually entered this before so here we go I'll put in QWERTY head category now by coming to the confirm page it now sets the session equal to whatever was posted through so when I go back there's the session set right so our next step now is what happens when we actually continue on so that means our was our enter page so on our enter page what we're going to do is we need to check and see has that um, add category session been set so here we've got is set post submit remove that stuff and replace it with the name of our session so that was again add category name okay so that if that is not set then redirect it because that has to be set to get to the enter category page um, otherwise it means nothing now um, I'm just going to copy that because I don't want to retype it one last time so down here when we run the query insert into category the values instead of it being the dollar sign post name it's actually that session so I'm just going to paste post over the top paste over the top of that there it is there so that should take whatever's in our session and insert it into the category one last thing we should do though is we should now unset that session so the session that we're unsetting again don't retype it just paste it there we go so we're going to unset that session uh, and the reason for that is if I got that right oh, I missed that square bracket oh, I missed it up there as well goodness I hope I haven't done that everywhere I oh, will find out um, yeah so the reason for that is uh, we don't want the user coming to the add category page hang on go to admin here add new category and the first time you come there there's already some information in there that would be kind of embarrassing it just doesn't make sense so we need that to be empty so I'm going to try and add QWERTY uh, so I say oh, correct continue and it says it's been entered and lo and behold there it is QWERTY um, the good thing is if I click add new category now this is blank if I hadn't done the unset session at the end um, this would have still had QWERTY in it so there you go, um, it was a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, you've now got the ability to add a new item directly into a database using a web form that you've created, and you also have confirmation functionality. So you can go, oops, go back, make a change, and you can see your changes have come through. So you've now got that functionality. Now, obviously, we're starting to build up some rubbish in our database here, so our next step will be how do you delete these things. So uh, that's what we're doing next time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.